Players of Streets will never forget how Adult Raptors reinventing his career in this role. Before the video starts, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notifications when we upload a video, and like and share this video if you enjoy it. You can check out our What Lil Nas X and Jesse Lingard have in common video, as well as our comparison of Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford as centre forwards, by clicking the eye above or looking in the description. This video will be the first episode of the Players That The Streets Will Never Forget series where I'll be looking back at different Maverick type players, careers, analyse them from a tactical standpoint and point out the successes and failures of their careers in general. In this video I'll be talking about Adel Tarapt, his career, positional roles and his reputation before looking at how he's reinventing his career in a slightly different role to what most people would expect, so keep watching till the end of the video to see the full analysis. Most people remember Adel Tarap as the unprofessional Maverick who was discarded from Tottenham's setup but turned into a gem at QPR during their promotion season, only for him to turn into a journeyman with his career falling down a hill largely because of his attitude and lack of work ethic. Tarap moved to Tottenham from RC Lens in 2007, aged 17, turning down Arsene Wenger and Arsenal in a move that he would later describe as a big mistake. He hoped for first team football at White Hart Lane and did feature under Martin Yo, but was sidelined under One Day Ramos when he came in. When Harry Rudnap was appointed in October of 2008, it became clear that Tarap's time at Tottenham was up. After a season long loan at QPR, they made the deal permanent in the summer of 2010, and in the corresponding season, Tarap helped QPR to the Championship title and promotion to the Premier League, scoring 19 goals in 44 games and being a Championship Player of the Year. While at QPI he played from the left in Neil Warnock's 4-4-2 as a Metzala, who would roam in field into the half spaces from where he would look to either dribble, pass players or create chances via through balls or crosses. The hard work in front two of Haider Helgerson and Jamie Mackey would make up for Tarap's lack of defensive work, which allowed him more freedom in the side, ultimately allowing him to maximise his offensive output. The 2011-2012 season was Tarap's first real chance in the Premier League, but didn't go according to plan. Joey Barton arrived at Loftus Road that summer from Newcastle and was given the captain's armband at the expense of Tarapt. After being substituted at half-time in a 6-0 loss to Stoke in October, there was a reported bust-up between Warnock and Tarapt with a number of the players questioning Tarapt's attitude. Towards the back end of the season, Tarapt showed his ability with some world-class pieces of skills, goals and performances which kept QPR in the Premier League and earned him a new contract that summer until 2016. In the 2012-2013 season, Tarapt again showed glimpses of being a world-class player with Harry Rudnap describing his performance against Fulham in January as one of the all-time great performances. Despite Trapp's ability being there for all to see, it was his attitude and lack of work ethic that stifled his career in the Premier League. His ideal position was probably as a Mazzala from the left flank playing in a 4-3-3, where he had the freedom to drift inside into the half spaces, which was where he was at his best. But playing in a side battling relegation, who under Redknapp, Hughes and Warnock often played a structured 4-4-2 or 4-5-1 predicated on wingers tracking back and following advancing fullbacks, Tarap's weaknesses became apparent and it became clear that he was a liability if given any sort of out of possession defensive responsibility. After failed loan spells at Fulham and AC Milan, Tarap eventually moved to Benfica in 2015, which initially was a disaster. Shortly after joining, he was demoted to the B team because of problems with his condition coming back to pre-season. He went out on loan to Genoa in January 2017 until the summer of 2018 in an attempt to resurrect his fading career. He didn't fail but didn't reach the level he was at QPR and returned to Benfica for the 2018-19 season. Eventually, after 1,387 days after signing, Trapp made his Benfica debut in Liga Nos. And after an impressive end to the season, he took a 30% wage cut and earned a new three-year contract. The problem that Trapp faced at numerous clubs was that he didn't fit into a lot of systems and wasn't versatile enough to play different roles. The only roles he could really play was as a Mazzala on the left flank in a 4-3-3 or as a Trequatista playing behind a main striker. With his lack of stamina and work ethic, Tarap needed to be in a system that would give him positional freedom when in possession, but also a system that would relinquish him from nearly all defensive responsibilities, which many managers are only prepared to do for a consistently high level of creative performance and with Tarap's inconsistencies and many other issues, no manager seemed to have faith in him. At Benfica this season, Traps has taken up a new unexpected role in Bruno Large's 4-4-2, with Benfica not playing an attacking midfielder in behind a main striker and the wingers having to fulfil their defensive responsibilities to create a narrow four-man midfielder out of possession, you wouldn't expect Traps to be able to play in this sort of system. However, in the second half versus Porto and from the start against Braga, Bruno Large used Tarapt in a midfield double pivot alongside Florentino Luiz. In the system, Tarap plays the role of a Segundo Volante, which is a Roman playmaker who plays in a defensive-minded double pivot, but has the task of advancing the play via dribbles from deep and moving further up the pitch to create when his side has possession in the final third. We will be releasing player roles explaining videos analysing both the Segundo Volante and the Carolero in depth in the coming weeks, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on those videos. 
Tarap's role in the side consists of him sitting deep alongside Florentino Luiz during Benfica's build-up and when they have sustained possession in the middle third. He recycles the ball from the deep position but will also look to advance the attack via a dynamic dribble through the centre of the park or by playing an incisive pass into Rafa or Pizzi who operate in the half spaces. When the ball is in the attacking third, whilst Florentino Luiz will sit deep, Tarap playing in the Segundo Volante rail will push further forward alongside Pizzi and Rafa, playing almost as a central attacker midfielder, looking to either create a chance or get a shot away from around the box. This role is a unique one and requires the player to have incredible stamina, work ethic, defensive position and tackling ability, accompanied by the offensive attributes that a central attacking midfielder would have. Surprisingly to many, Tarap has played very well in this role, in a two-man central midfield, having the stamina and work rate to get up and down the pitch and back in position, whilst being able to break up the play when needed. His positional play could be improved, but when looking at the type of player that Tarap was, it's incredible that he would now be looking more like a Luka Modric type of player than a Dimitar Berbatov further up the pitch. Even though Tarap has adjusted his game in the last year, English football fans will still remember him as a Maverick and Metzala type player who could have been a Premier League star at Tottenham, but lit the championship on fire and showed just enough for us to wonder what he would have been able to do if he had a better attitude and work ethic. But even so, Adel Tarap will go down as a player that the streets will never forget. Thank you for watching, remember to like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.